All right, so we're gonna give this one another whirl. We're back on location. Different garage this time though. What we got here is my buddy's 17, right? 17? Yeah. 17 heritage that is seen copious amounts of love. Uh, what we're doing is we're gonna swap out his gas cap and his fuel gauge because some of that love that has been seen is my fault. Um, when we were working on his bars here, he had his tank propped up vertically against the pole there and my fat ass squatted down in front of it, knocked the damn thing over. And you can see I got some scuffs on there, scuffs in there, and dinged his paint and I just feel like an absolute heel of an individual. So as an apology gift and this early Christmas present, I got him these. These are the fuel cap and LED fuel gauge. Um, and they are, they are hefty. I mean, they, they got some weight to them. You know, weighed them out at, God, what were they, like three and a half ounces each? I think 3.72 and 3.02. Yeah, I mean, they, they're, they're hefty. They are not just like cheap plastic. So, but it's real easy. You know, we just got a wire that comes deep in. The plug is in the box. We're just going to come down under here. If we can see here, there we go. Oh, we've got multiple flashlights going on here. So this is the plug. You're just gonna separate it, take it out of the little wire keeper here. This just helps keep wire off your jugs and you know you don't want things resting on your jugs. So, and you got two ways. You can either deep pin that if you have the tools, the know-how or the desire, or what we will probably end up doing is getting some wire cutters and just cutting it off because in theory, we don't need this anymore. So we'll pop that guy out and we'll take this wire here. Whoa, there, or, there we are. Take that wire and we'll just feed it straight up. New one drops straight back down, pin, test, and we're done. This is gonna be the, the hardest one. And by hardest, I mean, it's gonna take maybe 10 minutes. So we are gonna get to cracking along and I will check back once we at least have the wires clipped and this pulls, so you can kind of see what's behind, or we'll check back once it's clipped and we're as we're pulling it out. So we'll see what happens. Well, you'll see what happens. All right, so slight change because my buddy's uh, ADHD is kicking in. He doesn't know what that, what AD or HD is, but he's got 80 of them. So that was, as you all know, it's just a quick unthread. And he's got the other one here, it's just quick and simple. Should just uh, go in the hole. Now we're hoping it's kind of got a ratcheting thing that way you can kind of Click it around. Oh, oh snap. That way you can kind of line it up if you kind of picky. Oh shit, it didn't look too bad. And if you go one more click, it might be, you know, it might not be quite perfect, but oh shit, I'll be damned. So, it's like they thought of it. Oh yeah, profile is a whole lot lower compared to this than, you know, the satin black on the gloss back. Didn't look too uh, bad. I grew it. So, yeah. Uh, that's a big, big increase because, correct me if I'm wrong, but you hear that thing rattling, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hearing a common complaint. So, but oh, now we're going to start going after that guy. Do what? So people that can hear can hear it rattle. Well, yeah. <laughs> but if you can hear it rattle, then your bike's not loud enough. Yep. All right. Back to that guy. All right. Yep, just going with the snips. Cut it off right at the plug. I'm going to grab my wire cutters. Well, I guess, you know, right tool for the right <laughs> job. Oh yeah, should probably get a picture of how that should be an orange, yellow, space, black. Okay. So, not a bad idea to take a picture of how it's pinned so we can pin it right, but I'm fairly certain the directions tell you what goes where. Okay, next trick, get sharp uh, wire cutters. Or not get two at a time. Eh, it's like uh, you know, grocery bags. Yeah. So that, your uh, cap there, did you just pull it straight up or yeah. did you have to give it like a, a twist or something? So it just goes in there like yay. Uh, and then sometimes you gotta give it a wiggle, but okay. you can just go okay. straight up. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if you had to give it a quarter turn or an eighth turn or something to unlock it. All right, and then that little hole there is what it fed out of. So the new one should feed in there. If 
it were anybody else except for him, we'd probably clean out inside that hole. Actually, that's what I'm doing right now. So now we're gonna uh, suffer a heart attack because he's actually gonna clean something on the bike. <laughs> but uh, then we'll be ready to drop the new one in, get it uh, repinned and tested before we actually button it up. Grease this puppy. Or just keep losing weight. Or just keep losing weight. <laughs> All right, now we're going to try to get it in the hole. wonder if it'd do us any good to electrical tape these together. Uh, it should just be a tube that feeds straight down through. Yeah, I didn't know how easy it was going to be. Apparently pretty easy. And they're already poking out the bottom there. All right. Where have I got a bottom? It looks good, even not being lit up just yet. But uh, we might have to kind of finesse that from what I've seen, you know. There it goes. That's you can feel it grabbing that gasket too. Perfect. So apparently these do still have a gasket inside of them to help keep that whole water tight. Uh, from what I've seen other people do, they kind of have to get it in there at a slight angle, like oh, really? you had it, and then, and then clock it into place. Okay. Because that looks like it's got the right profile now. Yeah. A little extra lighting here since your garage lighting is about the same as mine. So we'll worry about clocking that. Right. Wonder if so. it's supposed to be. It looks pretty straight up and down. In the All right, so we got everything kind of plugged in, but it's not tied up to the tank yet. We're just doing a quick test to see if we screwed up. It's got light. Oh shit, that looks good. All right, so it starts out all the way up if it's full and then goes down to the left to tell you you're probably uh, sitting somewhere between a quarter and a half tank. Actually, there's six lights, you got two left, so you'd have a, what is that, a third of third, a tank? Third, yeah. So, however that math works out, but I'm impressed we got it right the first time. Heck yeah. So now all we gotta do is just tie up the wires in that same little keeper underneath and it's done. I mean, this whole thing took less than a beer. Yeah, so, less than a beer. quick and easy. You want a photo of it cycling or a video? All right, so we're all wrapped up here. Give you one more look around here. That looks good. Like I said, that matte on the gloss. Now he's talking about yoinking this off and getting it like powder coated, a satin black. Which I think would look pretty good. If any of you guys uh, have taken one of these cat side dashes and had them powder coated black, you know, drop it down below. Let me see so we can share it with this guy. Yeah, Not that he'll. Not that he'll ever spend money on this thing, but... Spent more money this year. Well, yes. <laughs> you know, especially since we had to redo your bars. He originally had the same bars on this that I've got on my Fat Boy with the, the meat hook, but he took a spill uh, around August? July 9th. July 9th. And he's just now getting mobile again. Fortunately, it was a very low speed. <laughs> it's very so, low speed. But it turns out that his bar here bent underneath the clamshell so we had to yoink those bars off and drop these new ones on still from dominator they're just their miter cuts instead of the meat hooks he's got these avon grips on her right now that sounds like he's not going to keep because there's a, a bit of stickage so i don't know what have you picked what your next ones are going to be uh, i believe they're the arlen ness oh uh, shoot i don't remember the model of them. okay so they're going to be arlen ness so if you guys have any good things or bad things to say let us know before he goes and drops arlen ness kind of money on these things but uh here's what happened to the grip that he did have on there when it met the concrete oh yeah it sucks too because those were all of uh, what three months old four months old four months old yeah yeah before that happened this is what happens when you don't have your grip all the way on the bar <laughs> we learned after so because if you guys remember i was having that problem you know with that big old gap on my fat boy it's because of that that I learned that you gotta force that grip on a little bit further. So, but all in all, it took us probably about 10 minutes, maybe. I think it took longer to get the tools out and, you know, get through a beer before. So, you know, it's really not hard. And I wanna say all in all, it was the two caps out the door uh, was probably about two and a quarter. But again, I'll put the links down below so you can see them both. They have them in chrome and black, but we kind of felt we both felt that the black would look better than the chrome on this. So 
But anyway, that's all I've got. About 10 minutes of your time and 200 of your dollars, it can look like this. So uh, I've got a, a couple of items ordered. Uh, I ordered one about a week ago. I ordered another something yesterday. And I was just kind of waiting on shipping to show up. And we'll get some more stuff going on the street glide. And once it warms up out, because again, uh, where we're at, it's about 30 degrees outside right now. Mm -hmm. But in this big old box, once it gets warm, is the Advan Black, I believe a six inch stretch mm -hmm. uh, for his bike. And you guys won't be able to tell, but before he took his big spill and got hurt, he got bumped into in the back and it kind of tweaked the fender. Rear-ended by a Tahoe. Yeah, rear-ended by a Tahoe, you know. But, I mean, again, it freaking looks fine. We but it back in. Yeah, oh yeah, I got pushed back in. Mm -hmm. But the guy who bumped into him felt so bad that he went ahead and ordered that Advan fender. So he's going to go from a steel fender, just stock, to uh, the fiberglass, ABS. I think, ABS plastic of Advan's. And if you guys remember, I did the taillight delete on my street glide at Sturgis. So I gave him my old light bar. And so we're hoping, let's head back over there, to go to this setup instead of these big old lollipops. It should not It should be doable. We'll give it a whirl. But again, that won't be until it gets warmer out because it's bloody cold. So... And neither one of us have ever done that, so should be a good time and see how straight it looks after a lot of beer uh, and whiskey. But uh, I'll have to let you guys follow along. But that's all I've got for today. Y'all take care. We'll catch you next time.